Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are going to create this cool animation by using the warps. So first we'll create a geometry node. So just I will click on tab, search for geometry. And just go inside. So first we need to create a circle. So just I will create a circle here and click on this. And now we need to rotate this. Uh, so just I will rotate in X axis like 90 degrees. And also I will make this smooth. Uh, so just I will increase the number of subdivisions. So now what the thing is we need to convert this model into the ring uh, kind of model here. So in order to do that uh, here, if you come down here, there is an option like arc type. So here we need to click on this open arc so that we'll get the curve here. And now what the thing is just we need to trim this curve a little bit. Uh, so it's up to you according to your requirement you can use that. So in order to trim this arc we need to use this option like arc angles. So at present it is up to like 0 to 360. So I can go up to like uh, 250 or something just or I'll just will go up to like uh, 300. Now what the thing is we need to create a model uh, by using this arc. Uh, so just we need to uh, add a sweep node. So just we will use this sweep node here. And just I will connect here. And now what the thing is, just we need to uh, select this surface type. Uh, so just I will go to this thing and let's I will select this round tube here. So now we got this thing. And also suppose in case if you want to increase this uh, smoothness here, we can increase this columns so that we will get this smooth. So that's fine. And now we need to close this. Uh, so in order to close this, just we can use this end gap type and we can put it to like single polygon so that we can close this model here. And now what the thing is before animating, we will create some sort of design on this model. Uh, so uh, what we can do is we can select some of the faces and just we can extrude so that we'll get some different kind of design. So in order to do that, we need to select the faces here. So here what I want is I want to select the random faces. Uh, so in order to do that, uh, what we can do is we can take group by range. Uh, so we can select this group by range. So select this and just we can connect to sweep node here. And now what the thing is see now it has been selected all the faces and also make sure here in group by range we need to put the group type to like primitives. So that's fine. So here you can see there is an option like select. Uh, so you can select this random faces. And also like offset, we can use the offset and also we can use this thing. Let's have one, uh, this kind of design here. So this is uh, okay. And just I want to select this face too. So I can use this offset so that I can select this face here. Yeah. Now what the thing is by using this group, we need to create, uh, we need to extrude this. Uh, so in order to extrude, we can uh, use this poly extrude. So just I can use this poly extrude here. And click here. Now, now uh, here, just if you use this distance, uh, now we can make it. So, what the thing is here, it's extruding all the faces. But what we want is we need to extrude only the faces which is being selected by this group range. So, in order to do that, in poly extrude, we can select the group here. So, we can select this group one. So, this is a group one here. So, this you can select this group, or else if you want, you can uh, name the group here also, like. Uh, selected faces so it's up to you and i think we don't we should not give the space or something yeah okay so now what the thing is see in poly extrude here we need to select the group like selected faces so now if you see now it it has been extruded only the selected faces here so we can uh, create this kind of design and now we can use this distance and now we'll make an animation to this model. Uh, so in order to do that, we need to take a node called attribute walk. So just search for this attribute walk. So select this and just put it here. And just I will connect uh, from this poly extrude. So just I can connect this. And now what the thing is, we need to go inside this. So just we can double click. So we'll go inside this warp node. And now we'll add one node. Uh, so that is like transform matrix. So just I will take and transform matrix node here. So select. And now what the thing is, we need to connect this uh, point uh, to this position in the transform. And again, uh, we need to connect this uh, position to this point here. Uh, so just uh, we need to connect this to point here. 
And now what the thing is we need to rotate this model. So for that, what we can do is here, you can see uh, there is an option called like time. And in this transform node, we can see this option like rotation. So here, what the thing is, see, if you hover this uh, mouse over here, now you can see it is in the float value. And here you can see it is in the vector value. So what the thing is, we want to rotate only in the single direction. So actually, what's the use of this thing is whenever we connect to this rotation. So for example, see if I connect to this here. Now see, now it has been logged. So according to the time, it will rotate the uh, model here. Means like uh, whatever the value we have given in this node, according to that, it will rotate this model. So for example, if I uh, put it to real time value here, yeah, it is rotating in the all the axis. But what we want to we want to rotate only in like a y axis here. So just we'll disconnect this now for time being. And now what the thing is, in order to rotate only in the y axis, we need to take another node uh, that is nothing but the float to vector uh, so just we need to select this and now you can say uh, we have like three axes here like x y and z we can define it is like x y z here uh, so now what the thing is just we need to uh, say now uh, the output is going to like n vector values so as you can see here if you hover the mouse uh, now this rotation is like vector so now we can connect this to rotation and now uh, now this is a y axis so just we can connect this time to this y axis now if you select this here you can see uh, we have like component 1 and 3 uh, like x and z axis too but uh, no need of changing this value because we want to rotate only in the y axis here now if you click on this play now see it's rotating only in the y axis and now what the thing is we need to increase the speed of this uh, rotation here because it's playing very slowly so now we need to increase speed. So in order to increase speed, we need to take two nodes. Uh, so first we'll take a multiply node. So just I will select this and now we have to connect this multiply node in between these two. And now we are getting another input. So in this input, we can give the value so that it will multiply and it will make the rotation a little bit faster. So in order to do that, we need to take an another node like constant. So just I will select this and now I will connect this value to this input to here. And now here we can define the speed uh, in the constant. Let's say we can put it to like uh, 10 or something. And now what actually it is doing is now the time which is going to this float here in between we have connected this multiply so that it will increase the speed by using this constant value. So now if I click on play, so see now it's playing a little bit faster now if you want to increase more then we can put it like uh, 50 or something so now if i click on play see now it's it has been increased the speed here so now we'll promote the value uh, of this input to here uh, so what the thing is what is the use of this promote is like see for example if i go back side and now suppose in case if you want to increase the speed of this model again uh, every time we need to go to inside this attribute warp node here so again going inside and changing the value it's a kind of time waste and so every time it is not possible for us to uh, change the value inside this thing here so what the thing is we we, we can create the value uh, outside this node here we can create one uh, attribute here so that we can increase the speed uh, outside this node here so i will show that so first let's uh, delete this constant node so select and delete now in order to promote this parameter, uh, just what we need to do is on this input, we need to click uh, with a middle mouse button. So after clicking with the middle mouse button here, you can see there is an option like uh, promote parameter. So you need to select this. Now it has been promoted. And now in order to see this properties, just you need to double click on this. So now we got this node here. And now the name of this node is like input, like parameter. And see now if I go outside here, you can see it has been created input number two here. So we can label it. Uh, so just if I go inside and we can select this and instead of this name, we can put it to like speed. And now see if I go here and now it has been created with the name of speed. And now see here we can increase the value. So let's say suppose if I put it to like a uh, hundred or something. And now you can see it's working. So in this way, we can promote the value. So like uh, we can avoid uh, every time going inside this node.
and now we'll make some copies of this model here uh, so it's simple just we can uh, like duplicate this attribute work so we can press ctrl c ctrl v now now in order to show these two models at the same time we can take a match so just i will take a match node so select this and now we need to connect this and this here and now what the thing is uh, we need to uh, scale this the which we have duplicated and so just for this i will take an like transform node so just select this transform node and now here we will make an uh, uniform scale let's say we can make it and uh, now see it's playing and now what the thing is we need to change the speed of this uh, the second model so we can select this attribute and just let's say we can put it to like uh, 200 or something so just uh, we can do this so 200 it's like more so let's say we'll put up to like 150 and now and if you want another model just we can select this let's say first we'll select this one control c control p and just we can take another transform just we can connect here we can connect here so just we can make it a uniform scale more and we can uh, like if you want to rotate in opposite direction we can put it to like minus 100 or something now you can see it's rotating in different direction so in this way we can create cool animation by using this warp node so that's it for this video see you in the next lesson